Speed scores. 1. Virtually can't move. 2. Slower than dirt. 3 to 5. Can move, but can't really maneuver. 6 to 7. Average. 8 to 9. Fast in the ideal strategy. 10. Fast there than light. Defensive scores. 1 to 3. Can't stand its ground. 4 to 5. Not meant to defend. 6 to 7. Average. 8 to 10. Very hard to take down. Offensive score. 1 to 3. Stands back. 4 to 5. Does not charge. 6 to 7. About average. 8 to 10. Charge! HP. 1 to 3. Very low. 4 to 5. Low. 6 to 7. About average. 8 to 9. Very durable. 10. Virtually indestructible. Okay, guys. Uh, today we're going to be doing vehicle reviews, and the first vehicle review we're going to be doing is the Mantis. So as you can see, I'm playing with the Mantis right now, and the Mantis is a de very defensive um, vehicle. It has a pretty high defensive value. As you can see, I just took down that Warthog there. And you'll notice that it's not like I charged it or anything. Kind of just walked along beside it. Uh, the main point of using something like a Mantis is to kind of stand your ground and take down what comes near you. Not really meant for charging or anything. Mainly because it is not the fastest vehicle ever. It's not super fast. And you can see that the weapons are really meant for a defensive purpose. I mean... The machine gun's fast firing, but it doesn't do the huge mass amounts of damage that you'd think it would. It does do a decent amount of damage, but not as much as you'd think. About as much as a normal assault rifle. Actually, more closely to the saw. But, uh, then you have your rockets, which really, you only get four shots and they take a while to charge. So that's really defensive. Um, pretty slow. It's not the best for, like, maneuvering. Like, you're not going to dodge much with a Mantis. It can move, but most other vehicles can outrun it. The reason it's good, though, is its defensive value is high enough where that even if a vehicle is a lot faster than you, you can still take it down pretty easily. So, again, not very great maneuvering but still has some good value with its, its defensive. Now the thing about the Mantis that's really good is this thing's pretty powerful. In fact, it's pretty darn close to indestructible, or virtually indestructible. Because unless somebody has something strong enough to pierce your shield-comparable uh, vehicle armor, that's what I like about this game. It's really comparable with your shields. They complement each other a lot in this game. So when your shields go down, your vehicle's going to start taking hits, and your shields will stay down for a good amount of time. However, this also causes your shields to recharge a bit slower when you're in a vehicle. You can see I just took down that Banshee there. Uh... So yeah, good for taking down most other vehicles. So there you have it for the Mantis. Mantis score, 7. Speed, 3. Offensive, 7. Defensive, 9. HP, 8. Okay guys, next up is the Banshee. Now, the Banshee, as most of you know, is the only remaining flying vehicle, which was one of the flaws of this game. Mainly because they just completely wiped, slowly started wiping out flying vehicles in Halo 3. So they just started dropping off the charts, and now the only one remaining is actually the Banshee. However, the Banshee is a very formidable enemy to most other vehicles and ground troops. Mainly because it has two types of weapons. Now, one of these weapons is a very offensive weapon. A, in fact, a very offensive weapon. Uh, this little laser type weapon. It fires very rapidly. And you can fly in really close with the thing and just start pumping people full of blood. The Banshee is really an offensive vehicle. The Banshee is made for you to fly in there like I just did against that Mantis. 
and pump it full of blood. However, it does have a def defensive weapon, which is this rocket that rocket that I fired at that mantis. And this can be used as a defensive weapon. However, you can tell that the Banshee's also a mainly offense-oriented thing, because it never stops moving. You really are never stationary. It's always moving forward. Now, the speed is really high with a Banshee. But the one flaw about it is it only has about an average damage um, HP value. So if you're charging, you have to be careful because you you don't have as much HP as you have in the Mantis. It's not the highest, and you can be taken down fairly easily because since you're the only flying vehicle that's around, people will notice you and start trying to shoot you down. So that's pretty much it for the Banshee. Your fast flying offensive vehicle. Banshee score, 7. Speed, 9. Offensive, 8. Defensive, 4. HP, 6. Now this next vehicle is the Ghost. And the Ghost has been around for a while. It's pretty standard issue ground troop. And, and it's uh, pretty effective. Mainly because it's the only really low health ground force that you can fire with the fire gun as the driver. It's also one of the only... I mean, it's a one-passenger, but it's one of the only one-passenger ground vehicles. Now there's the Mantis, but before it was one of the only ones. The nice thing about it, too, is that the driver has a lot of more control, as opposed to with the UNSC vehicles. The the driver has a lot of control. Now the Ghost's main tactic is to splatter because it has very high speeds. Ghost is also not durable at all. Ghost has a very low durability and is destroyed fairly quickly when charging. The gun is not the ideal weapon either on the Ghost. The gun can help you out, but really it's the splattering. So that's about it for the Ghost. Ghost score, 5.5. .5. Speed, 9. Offensive, 8. Defensive, 1. HP, 4. Created by The Barn. Make sure to check out our channel and check in weekly for more Halo.